He's doubles at any rate. Continues to miss. 42. That's really New odd. Corner, 68. Because he's not throwing them poorly. They're not missing by much. They're just not going in. Double 16 for Joe. He, he finds it. Second and that makes Chetaisky's misery even more accentuated. The leg Joe to well, that's it. Against Beaton. I mean, he kept on missing double 16 and double 8. But so many of them were clipping wires. Absolute Steve Westing his way to losing legs. Because he was... Just missing by the tiniest of margins. It was two ton plus checkouts that got him over the line against Beaton. 100. And the last two legs, one at 6 3, made the difference. Cullen saw off Richie Edhouse 6 3. It w looked really good. Looked like 59. Rolls Royce Joe Cullen for a lot of that game, and then he just got a bit scrappy at the end and dragged the average down a few points. Yeah, it was Rolls Royce at the beginning because he was around the 120 average mark early. And he one more like a sort of three series BMW by the end. It was still good, hmm. but it wasn't as good as a Rolls Royce. One hundred and thirty-four. We know this to face Ian White. The other quarter final in this half is either Daryl Gurney and Glenn Durrant, Gerwin Price and Rob Cross. One hundred and forty. That doesn't tantalise your taste buds, then. I'm sorry, we haven't got anything better than that in the world of darts. Well, at this section of the draw, you're looking at players who are phenomenal you on the Pro Tour, the Players' Championship events and, and the Euro Tour. And in the next section, you've got players who are all major champions. All reigning major champions. 60. Is Euro that a mistake from Ratajski not going for the ball to leave 96 or 71? He's got away with it, but if he does 55. get in trouble... He's only going to get one, one shot at a double. Fifty-seven required. And there you have it. 49. Using that twenty-five and ball, seventy-two is very, very handy now and again. In right in that spot, and it looks like he's going to lose the leg. He should lose the leg. Sixty-six. Hasn't lost it yet. Christophe requires fifty-two. Cry of anguish there from Joe Cullen. Steve West watches on. Thirty-six. Well, Christoph Ratajski. I mean, at six. some point, he might have to start thinking, stop leaving those. He was on the third leg, Joker. because they're just not working for him this weekend. Game on. It brings up a very valid point that Rob Malarkey made yesterday. He asked the question, "How stubborn are dark players?" And I said. 100. About as stubborn as this big rock that we're next to. Yeah, I mean, did, did you ever move away from your... I mean, your double of preference is double 16, right? Yeah. Like, did you ever 100. find yourself, I keep missing it, I've got to go somewhere else. Did you do that? No. No matter how many times I missed it, I'd still go back there. I just figured uh, there wasn't any sort of variable change, which is a sort of blackjack to 85. Uh, so if I missed it, it was because I th didn't throw it well enough. So right. the next time was just, I've got to throw it well enough. Sometimes I would leave double 80. 18 instead of tops, uh, depending on the shot. Like a 76, I'd go 20-20 mm -hmm. 20, 20, double 18 like Glenn Durant does. Yeah. I wouldn't go down for the 16 and then back up top. That's but more about just staying in the same area of the board. 16, though, correct, right? yeah. But I'd always rather leave 16s than tops. I was just better down the bottom left. But with Christoph, he's, he's the James Wade of double 16. He will do everything to leave double 16. And he's not going to change. Whoa, That's the second 180 for Christoph. I mean, it's a good performance. But he's one out of seven 96. on the doubles. And that's not going to be enough. 76. Well, he may need tops here, but he's left double eight. <laughs> he hasn't hit it. And he has hey, got four. Christopher a little bit of irony Joe in the stare at double four there because the ironic thing was for him if he missed it, Cullen was on one two six, which is one of the shots that helped him yesterday. And how many times has Joe Robin Hooded his darts in this match? Is that the third time? It might be, yeah. One hundred and thirty-six. See, Robin Hood probably 
I don't know, once a tournament, if you're lucky. He's done it three times in a game. Three. Did have a bit of a mishap with a steam iron yesterday yes, he's morning. Got one Did shirt, you're... hasn't he now? Because he put the iron through the other one. I've been there. Robert Thornton asked me to iron his shirt. I went straight through it and I said, "Sorry, Robert, you're gonna have to get another shirt." Wait, why were you ironing Robert Thornton's shirt? He didn't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> Christine did it all. She wasn't there. Well, that tells you the story of the game, doesn't it? Christoph Ratajski is overpowering Joe Cullen in the scoring. But Cullen is being given opportunities because Ratajski is missing. The first four legs of this, Ratajski has won two of them and missed more than one dart in each of the others. 104. Triple 18 leaves a double 16, which we know he cannot hit. Oh, he's there it is! Christoph Ratajski. Well, double 16 has been on the side of the Christoph. All of a sudden, Game he's up. found it. Ninety-seven. Where does Christoph rank for you if you had a your own personal you know and we know that Andrew Gilding's top of your favourite list. Well, he's up there. Is Christoph climbing that ladder for you as I, as far as you becoming a fan of, of brand Ratajski? I look I I've been a huge fan of Ratajski ever since we started to see him on the Euro tour because he's been even when he was losing, he was losing with high nineties averages. 100. He's turned up on the tour and he's just gone about his business and continued every time you see him, or the vast majority of times you see him, he just lives in that high 90s zone. 57. Now, we have seen, of late, in some of the Pro Tour events, him putting some strangely below-par performances. But he's still right up there with the best players in the world in terms of the numbers. 60. And he's, he's unflappable. He just, you know, he's not... It's like a sort of Bjorn Borg character. He doesn't do a great deal 57. on there to get excited about. He's just so businesslike. Silent brilliance. Yeah. I think Bjorn Borg is a, a fabulous comparison. I'd I echo that. But Mats Villander. He's, well, that's it. He's not, he's not one of the effusive, boolean characters of the game. He's not a you know, daft man child like Ian White. 140. But he's a serious darts player, and I, th I, I think it will click for him in one of the big TV tournaments. I mean, it might well be the European Championship, you know. It would be fitting because that's where that's how he established himself in PDC darts and then going to the big finals of the European 140. Tour. Yeah, 140. I've got to ask you with that comparison to Borg. In, in tennis terms, who's Joe Cullen then? Don't say Nick Kyrgios. <laughs> 57. Christoph Urikwan, 44. Yeah, that's not too bad. Natural talents that knows where a camera is. Ratajski has had a small jolt with double 16 in the last leg, but he's missed it again. Single 20 for the ball. 65. Just doesn't seem as sharp as the beginning of last night's match, Joe. It's double eight. For Ratajski. Can he find it? Can he find it? No ah, score. I, I, I no echo that sentiment, 25. Christoph. He doesn't know how to hit it. Salt in the wound shot. Best double four hitter in the world. 21. That was my fault. I cursed Christoph, him. Christoph, you require 16. He a lot yesterday. Christoph Atasi is looking like the worst double eight hitter in the world this weekend. Oh, no no. score. <laughs> Christoph Atasi finds Joe new and interesting Juan. ways of missing Four. double eight. Oh, no. And Joe Cullen levels up this match on double one. Does he? Two. No. Well, how does he miss it this Christoph time? Well, I mean, 16. let's find out, kiddies. Treble eight, you could do that. Double sixteen, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Double four's been all right to him. Game shot on the sick player, Christopher Tosh. Just split it, Christopher. Yeah, I think that's for double four. Game up. 
That I mean, is the first time I've ever seen Christopher Tyski celebrate mid-match. I just think he's got so much in the way of nervous energy because of all these misses at double eight. He just needed to get rid of it. And I think Joe no, Cullen appreciated that. It wasn't disrespectful. Yeah, he's, he's just furious with himself, isn't he? I think if you wanted to have a little vocal rant, I'm not sure Joe would understand the no, Polish I'm rant. No. I'm not sure if he does... Uh, a bit of Polish every day on a, an app on his phone. 90. He's more of a, a doodle jump kind of guy. He's, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he, there's a bunch of kids here who like cheering on the players and trying to get their flights. He managed to summon up one word of Spanish, which was vamos. Earlier, 121. As he was the stage, but I think that's about the limit of Joe's foreign language skills. He's probably been watching a bit of either Sergio 60. Garcia or Rafael Nadal. Or maybe had a, a conversation with David De Gea because he is a big Man U fan. One hundred. There we go. Just making sure the scores are right. Cullen is on two hundred and fifty. And now gets himself down to a two dart checkout. It's all well and good being behind early and mid game, but you've got to kick at some point. A bit like Steve Orvet used to do down the back straight. He'd be at the back, but he would kick. 140. Yeah, meters from home. That's exactly what Joe has to do now. This has got to go. Oh dear, 16 and ball. Yeah, oh, gets away with it. Flag. Gets Joe away with it. Joe Cullen holds his throw. Cuts Christoph the gap to, to just Rufus. one leg. Game on. And when he wins a leg, he has a glug of water. As every player should in a hot environment. 137. It is hotter today than it's been all weekend in Gibraltar. And 140. It's pretty warm in there. Tonight is going to be a real cauldron. But Cullen knows what it takes to go all the way and win one of these now. Christoph Ratajski. 122. Oh, there's no reason why he can't. He's won five Pro Tour titles. All in the last couple of years. 60. But never got to the semi-finals on the Euro Tour, which is just staggering. He was trying to talk to you about that yesterday, mm. wasn't he? On how you play one game on a Saturday, and he used to play one no, game on a Friday. It doesn't have to do that at the minute. But still getting used to the complexities of Sunday. 85. As if you recall, 145. Not enough. Cullen finding himself second best in the scoring stakes once more. 43. It's an invitation in, Joe. You needed that mistake from Ratajski. You're going to have to get yourself down. And oh. he went for the 25 because he knew if he got that 25, a single 20 would be the finish. He hasn't been able to get there. Yeah, it's got scrappy, hasn't it? Single 10. For the elusive double 16. Oh, well, at the end of combination shots, he's all right. He's taking 104 and 102 on double 16. He's only got three in his hand looking at it. He can't hit it. It's a bit of the old yellow classing thing, wasn't it? He always used to have a bit of bother with three darts at a double... With three darts in his hand, sorry. But on a combination shot, he would nail it. Yeah, Gary Anderson used to be like that, didn't he? He'd take out 160, but he couldn't hit top three darts in his hand. Oh, well, we know Gary can hit 140. When the pressure's on, did it last year's Champions League? Yeah, and have a chance to produce more moments of magic when we're in Leicester this year, the Morningside Arena. First appearance in Leicester for the PDC. I wonder how many references we're going to make to winning Premier League side. 140. Maybe some of the winning footballers will actually come to the darts. Well, they were having a game of darts the other day. Jamie Vardy, James Madison, playing with a load of stuff. Stephen Bunting had sent him. Bit of brand awareness there from Mr. Bunting. Cullen 140. needs to win three legs in a row. And when he dissect it, we may say this every time, but he's only got to break him once. He's got to get this leg. It's do or die stuff. It's just not consistent enough on the scoring from him. You look, you look at the scoring visits. 30. 
Cullen has not left himself to finish there. Six darts from here to wrap it up for Christoph Ratajski. Normally, he does this with no bother at all, no fuss. It's a nice, efficient couple of visits. Set it up, then take it out. 99. That will do. Leaves a number that easily leaves double 16. Well, Christoph Ratajski has had almost double 100. the number of ton plus scores that Joe Cullen's had in this game. And it's a scoring power that's brought in more opportunities. He's missed so many darts at double. But he's had job. enough to match. get the job Christoph done. Ritowski. And Christoph Ratajski, the Polish Eagle, finds himself in the quarterfinals here in Gibraltar.